congratulations on learning one of our last color songs, Brown. B-R-O-W-N spells brown. And today we are going to make a brown owl in celebration of the color with a 3D mouth and torn paper feathers for display. So without further ado, let's get started. Show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a lot of stuff for this project. So you are eventually going to need scissors. You're gonna need your glue stick, a black crayon. Mrs. Shardle has the features, the eyes. And so you're gonna need two yellow eyes. You're going to need four long, skinny orange rectangles. And you're going to need one orange. What shape is this? Square. Square. What shape is this? Diamond. diamond. So we are going to use it as a diamond, but it really is a square. And then you're also going to need at least three, if not more, pieces of different colored brown paper that we are going to rip. So I showed you with the example that we are going to tear our feathers. Oh, and you're gonna need your background paper. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that your background paper has a light oval or circle drawn on it. Your name is going to go on the back of that. You're gonna write your name and class code. In this case, we are KA. But if you're joining me in another class, your class code is probably something completely different. So if you have any questions, ask a friend or ask the teacher. Um, and I did say that we might be displaying these. So in this case, it is very important that we get the right class code on it so that your project can be returned to the right classroom when it is done being displayed. All right. So if you look at our owl example, here is our oval, and then we have a couple points for ears and wings. Let's start by tearing paper. Raise your hand if you've ever torn paper before. Okay, most of us have. So it's pretty easy, you just pinch and separate. Pinch, and I'm pulling, I'm pulling this hand this way, and pulling this hand this way. Now I'm not going crazy tearing it all up. I'm just tearing it and then tearing it into like pieces. Um, oh, let's say the size of your glue cap. Right around there, okay? So I'm gonna tear up lots of pieces. I'm gonna set those aside. Um, I would do that with most of my papers, now Mrs. Shardle has plenty of extras already torn over here because at the end of class, if you don't use them all, we're gonna um, put them in this bin here for other kids to use if they need them. Like if they ran out or came into class late or something like that. All right. And you wanna make sure that none of these, now this one's like a dinosaur fingernail. That's too big, right? Make sure none of them, oh boy, that one's too big too, right? So I'm gonna tear it. I'm going to open my glue stick, making sure that it's not twisted too far, but a little bit. And I'm going to put some glue around the outside and I'm making it nice and gluey here. And I'm going to put my pieces around the outside of my oval. And I'm trying to put um, different colors beside each other. I'm not trying to do all the same colors right beside each other. Unless you want your owl to be all the same color, which you could do. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and put some on the inside. Oh, 
Okay, I have my owl filled in. Ta-da! Now, I have, I'm sorry, I don't have my owl filled in. I have my oval filled in. But I need to turn this into an owl. So, I am going to give my owl ears. So, I'm going to go right up here. Do two little glue things. And I'm just going to find a piece. Like, it could be rectangular, but if I turn it a little bit, it's going to look like an ear. So this is a square, right? It's hard to see on my hand, square. But I'm just gonna turn it to give myself an ear. I can make them wider if I wanted to, two colors if I wanted to. All right, all right, all right, there. Now, how about some wings? I'm gonna put some glue right over here and give my owl some wings. And some over here. All right, so I have my owl body with his wings and his little horned um, ears there. Now let's turn this brown torn paper into an owl. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give them some legs. I said we needed four pieces, right? Four long, skinny rectangles. First thing I'm going to do is do two lines down. And we want this to kind of come up on the owl body a little bit. Yep, on the owl body. And then I need to give them some toes, right? Yeah. So I'm going to take this. Actually, you only need four. I'm going to take one of these pieces. I'm sorry, you only need three rectangles. I'm going to cut that in half because I'm going to go across here and here <gasps> and give them his toes. My glue fell out. Now you can see there's a little bit of glue left, right? So I'm just gonna pop that in there. If it keeps falling out, I can use what is left and then throw it away. All right, so there's my feet. Let's give them some eyes. I'm gonna take my yellow circles and I'm not gonna glue them down yet. I'm gonna put the black I'm gonna draw another circle. So this is the pupil, and I'm gonna color that in real nice. Color that in real nice. All right. And I'm going to put lots of glue right here and lots of glue right here for my owl eyes. And he needs a beak, right? But I want this to be a 3D beak, which means that it's going to pop out at you. So you have your square. We're going to turn it to a diamond. Then we are going to fold. So I'm going to take this point and this point, and they're going to fold up kind of like a taco. See that? Together. And now I actually have a different shape. What shape do I have there? Triangle. Triangle. Very good. And I'm gonna press this down and I'm gonna put glue just on one side. And it's gonna be the bottom side. And I'm gonna press that down so that I have a little beak. So it sticks up for my owl, okay? Now if you want to do like a toe like that, you can. You can do your feet, you can do your toes across or have them kind of like a Y. It's up to you. That's an upside down Y. Yep, upside down Y. Right? For your little owl. Like now, this. this glue stick, remember it fell out mm -hmm. and there's not much left? In this case, unfortunately, this guy's seen his last project. If it ever gets like this, you cap it, throw it out, right? At the very end of class, 
If you have these extra pieces right here, you're gonna walk it over to the tray and put them in there in case somebody else wants to use them, especially if you have these big extra pieces. Those can go in the tray for somebody else to use. And we're gonna let these dry and we're going to display, I think, our owls.